came here because you saw a program that had an offense and maybe you could shine in. Now you're leading the Big 12 in scoring. Is it safe to say that so far this has been exactly what you hoped? Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't one of my goals. I just wanted to play my game, play confident, and play free, you know, just play to my strengths. And uh, it's working out so far, and I'm just glad we're winning. So it's been good so far. How were you guys able to have success in your transition defense? It like they had a couple opportunities that you guys were able to stop out. Uh, we just wanted to play hard and make, the, make that extra play. And uh, um, we started off kind of struggling uh, from the field, but a, a defensive end, we kind of – Kind of save this from from get, from them opening a big lead, so that was huge for us to just come, make hustle plays and that worked for us in our favor. You're probably scoring, I mean, scoring the ball, not only scoring the ball, but shooting the ball as well as you have in your career. Is there any one thing you can point to, or is it just a combination of stuff? Well, I mean, just the amount of work I put in the gym, just try to shoot as much as possible before and after practice, and obviously sitting out last year, just staying in the gym and kind of perfecting my craft. Was there anything you that you found last year? I mean, you know. You and Michael were in sort of this, you know, no man's land. Was it in that time? Was it something you found maybe about your shot or something, a mechanical thing, or was it just the, the time, the reps? I would say just the reps, man. Just okay. staying in, um, in the gym every day, uh, especially when they leave for road games, just try to get as much work as possible. Baylor's unique <clears throat> defensively with their zone. In your experience, um, what's what's the important thing to do against zone defenses? Um, to move the ball, to cut, um, to attack the zone. Um, not not really play. Uh, just shooting threes, but trying to get it inside out and um, and just making sure we're, we're playing as good as defense as possible. Is it easier to attack a zone like that when you have, you know, four guards on the floor at the same time? For sure, because we could all make plays for each other and um, you could shoot it pretty well. So just trying to make plays for each other and help each other score. What's been the key to your team's defense being so stout in the Iowa game it wasn't great to come right back and dig right back into it? Um, just the effort. Um, we. Uh, Played, uh, paid extra attention to the execution and the game plan from our coaches, and um, I think we just did, go, did a good job executing. How difficult does it make for <clears throat> opposing offenses that you know, the four of you on the wing are basically the same player defensively, where even if they get, they can't be playing switches to mismatches as much as other teams? Yeah, exactly. We just want to switch and um, help each other out as much as possible, and um, we were able to switch one through five and lay shot clock, so it just makes it easier for everybody. Talked about being in the gym a lot and reps being key. Has that been a you thing, kind of your whole life, getting in the gym all the time, or is that kind of deepened over time? Is the value of that? No, well, that's something I learned um, as a young player. Just you can't cheat the game. Really, just try to stay in the gym as much as possible. And the more you're in the gym, the more it's just going to help you in the long run.